This is the 511 status bifold wallet. Tactical wallet, really. Can handle a lot of abuse. See what features it has. Welcome to Wallatopia. Let's jump into the 511 status bifold. The packaging is something you'd expect from a retail offering, which is fine. So let's uh, pull this out here. Let's see how best to do that. Mm, there we go. Let's get a closer look. This is the kangaroo color. What's interesting is looking at the different fabrics that they have here. Not a great texture. Now let's do the feature review of the 511 status bifold wallet. On the front of this wallet, we have the 511 logo that's here, as well as the ability to place any kind of Velcro patch you want here, which is kind of a nice touch. It also has this card slot immediately here in the front. And it's uh, deep, looks like it has a lot of capacity. We'll check that out in the next test, but that's a, a quick access slot. There's no feature on the back of the wallet, but if we open this up, you can see that uh, we immediately on the left have a card slot here. And this looks to be uh, elastic. So that will stretch and give you all kinds of card capacity here. We have an ID window on the left. This is plastic, has a thumb access. It's accessed from the top, so cards go in here. And then on both sides, in the rear, we've got more card slots here on the left, as well as here on the left, on the right. And uh, these are deep. These are really deep for cards. Uh, you can see here how deep this goes. And so you're definitely going to have some security with the cards that you, that you put there. If we open it up, in the billfold area that we have here, there's no other special features other than the ability to put cash in here. And uh, it looks rather shallow uh, for cash. And so we'll, we'll test that and we'll talk about that. But that is a review of the features, the 511 status bifold wall. Now for the card and cash insertion test. As you saw, we put 13 cards and they all fit fine. And the wallet still folded over rather nicely. Five slips of cash was fine and more would work all right, uh, but it's not built for international currency. So I kind of mentioned, as you saw, it's uh, very narrow in this and international currency is a little bit wider. So that might be an issue. Now, uh, it's primarily made of nylon webbing, which means that uh, it, it will hold up very well. And like I said, they incorporated this elastic uh, right here in the front which makes it a nice touch and allows you, the, allows you to put more cards in there and carry more. This is very durable and can take a lot of abuse. Uh, you can see how we've got uh, the, the 511 logo here in the front and this edge sealing that's uh, done right here. Let's look at this from the top real fast. This edge sealing done here because all of this runs lengthwise uh, is really good. And it helps reinforce it against premature fraying and having this come apart. It's priced at $30, which is very reasonable. You'd expect it to be more due to the brand, but it is fairly priced. The length uh, is longer, which we kind of mentioned here, which uh, gives you deeper pockets. And with these deeper pockets, it makes access to the cards a little tougher because you have to fish them out. But the flip side is that they're more secure. It measures four and a half inches by three and a half inches by half inch thin. And the perception as I look at this is that it is very durable and something you'd expect as a tactical wallet offering from 511. And you'll notice that there is different material used all the way through it, here in the front, here on this outside piece, elastic in here, uh, as well as on this interior. And this different material sewed on at different angles provides texture and interest in the presentation. Now let's get to the final score. For quality, a four. For price, a four. Features, a three. Usability, a three. And perception, a three. That gives us a final score of 35 out of 50, or 3.5 out of 5. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate you watching. If you have any other questions, comments about this wallet, or anything else you'd like us to look at, please let us know in the comments or send us an email. You can find us at walletopia.info ask to send us something. Thanks, bye.